Well, there it is. The Anaheim Ducks have their head coach. Gray Conan will become the 11th coach in team history. My initial thought to this hire was disappointment. In a video I made about a month ago, here were my thoughts on Cronin. He has never been a head coach in the NHL. He has moved around quite a bit from other AHL teams to even coaching college and has worked with the USA development team. So he clearly understands how to work with younger players. But that being said, he is probably the one I'm least excited about. My initial thoughts on Cronin on the surface was that he seemed like an older Eakins, which is why I said he was the one I was least excited about. But my stance has changed listening to interviews and reading about him more in depth, he brings 36 years of experience behind the bench, coaching at various levels of hockey, including being co-founder of the U.S. National Team Development Program. Most recently, for the last five years, Cronin has been the head coach of the Colorado Eagles and made the playoffs in four of them. This came during a stretch when the Avalanche were in win-now mode, which at times meant trading prospects for NHL-ready talent. Yet, he still managed to lead the Eagles to a .600 win percentage, showing that he can do more with less. And I gotta say, I agreed with almost everything he said during during his interviews. And if you haven't yet, I highly recommend to go listen to the three interviews posted on Duckstream to get a better understanding of what the goal is for this team for the next couple years. Now, I'm not going to recap everything, but here are some of my favorite quotes and things that excite me. This quote was directly why I was worried about Cronin. Upon first impressions, he comes across as part of the old school guard. But in fact, he uses that on top of also including new school methods into his teaching style. He's very blunt, but he looks all over hockey, sports, and elsewhere for new techniques of coaching. He's very well read and has lots of interests besides hockey, including surfing. <laughs> you know Paul Curry, I've coached him. Yeah. And now uh, you know him uh, as a friend. He's a friend and he's a fellow surfer. Well, he's better than me because he has more time. He's like the teacher who grills you in class and the exams are brutal, but then he'll sit with you for an hour after class and painstakingly help you learn the stuff. He is extremely detailed and has a great understanding of advanced metrics and their importance to the game and how to use them. This quote probably made me the most excited out of anything said. To me, good defense means spending as little time as possible in the defensive zone. If you play the majority of the game in the offensive end, you have a better chance to win. Now, this isn't a quote, but this story of how Cronin defended his players speaks volume of the type of man he is. So far, the one thing that makes me nervous about Cronin is that he mentioned Randy Carlisle as a big influence on his coaching style. He said that he learned from him to be a no-nonsense leader who isn't afraid to speak directly and sharply to players to make his teaching points, which on the surface doesn't sound that bad, so we'll have to wait and see. Now to me, Coach Pro doesn't seem like the type of coach to take this team to championship level. I don't know how many of you watch the NBA, but he kind of seems like the Mark Jackson of the Golden State Warriors. He developed and gave the team the keys to success, but wasn't the coach to put them over the hump. But that's okay, because I think the coach to do that is down in San Diego. He has been dubbed as Hockey's Ted Lasso by Lisa Dillman. I'm very curious to see how long Coach Crow's contract is. I imagine it's somewhere in the two to three range, but no more than four, as it will be very telling as to how long Pat Verbeek expects this rebuild to take. One thing is for certain, the Ducks got a lot stronger behind the bench, both in the NHL and the AHL. What are your guys' thoughts on the hire? Thank you for watching and go Ducks! Coach Crow is amazing. Um, I wouldn't be here without him. He not only cares about as a person and as a player, as a friend. I think that he really sees the potential in every player that he works with and he tries to develop those guys as much as possible. He gave me this, this sheet with a, a drawing of a tree and within that tree there's you know about six things that I need to do well to be the best player that I can be and I still have that in my suit coat wherever I go. Wow. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, he's definitely someone who's impacted my career in such a positive way and I can't thank him enough. And he's someone that just is so dedicated to what he does. You know, he's in the ring early, early in the morning. He doesn't leave till late at night. Puts in the time and effort and, and I hope to see him in the NHL because he's a, he deserves it.